In my life, I've always looked at myself as a nice guy, a pacifist, if you will. I never condoned fighting or arguing, and uh, I've never really been good with confrontation. I guess you could say I've always kind of ran away from my problems. But unfortunately, sometimes life comes to you in ways that you don't really want it to. Hi, my name is Pete, and you're watching Record, Upload, Repeat. How are we doing, and how are we feeling? So... I had a little bit of an issue on Saturday, so sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy my misery. So on Friday night, I get a text message from my father around 8.30 p.m. And the text message says, Peter, because my father calls me Peter, my, fam I, my parents and family are the only ones that I like to call me Peter. Otherwise, to everybody else, it's Pete. So it says, Peter, I left some money on the counter upstairs. Go get mom's car washed tomorrow morning. So I'm like, all right, now I gotta wake up super early on a Saturday morning and I'm not really feeling that. And my father is a real neat freak when it comes to cars being clean. You know, it's just uh, an image thing. I mean, I get it. You know, I like to keep a, key a clean car, but it's been snowing a lot in New York, or not a lot, but it's been snowing. There's salt and ice and shit, and it's making the cars look all grimy. So this past weekend, the weather was gonna be really, really good, and he wanted me to take advantage of that and get the car washed. I said, fine. Saturday morning comes, it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning I'm like you know what let me go get mom's car washed like dad wanted so as I'm getting ready to leave my sister's like hey I'm gonna bring my car to the car wash I'll just come with you so she follows me and we get to the car wash that we go to normally and there is a line down the fucking street there's two entrances for the car wash one that comes up and loops down and then one on the main road both of those had cars out into the street because everybody had the same goddamn idea now I didn't consider this I didn't think of any of these things, these factors, so of course I'm like, fuck that, I'm not gonna be waiting for an hour and 45 minutes to go through the goddamn car wash, because at this car wash they do a nice job, but they're a little slow, and they were super overwhelmed, so I was like fuck that. So I tell my sister on the phone I'm like, look, I'm not waiting on that line, she goes yeah, I'm not doing that either, I said, do you wanna just go to that, like, shittier car wash that we have in town, you know it's a little pricey, but you're in, you're out whatever, it kinda does the same job, but not really. So she goes, yeah, let's do it. So we go to that car wash. So we pull in and when you go to this car wash, it's really a gas station that just has a, gar a car wash. It's a mobile station. And pretty much what it is, you sit in the car, they spray down the car, it's like 19 bucks, which is pretty expensive for this, and you just let the car go through. They don't put tire shine on the tires, they don't dry it off or anything, it's just literally you're in, you're out, and it's done. So I figured, hey, you know what, this might suffice for the situation at hand. At least it'll get the salt off the car and all that grimy shit. So, not only was that a disaster in itself because it did a shit job cleaning the car, it was right before I entered the car wash where I ran into a small issue. Now, because where I live, it's like all suburban city life. Everything is fucking congested and everything is on top of each other and so is everybody else. And in this particular car wash gas station area, um, it, it's like you pull into the car wash, you go past the gas pumps, and it loops around and then the car wash is like um, is like diagonal to that. My directions right now are really stupid, but just kind of bear with me. And when the car wash line gets too long, it blocks one of the exits going to the street and uh, I didn't really realize this because I don't go to this car wash very often so as I'm pulling up on the line I see this like gold Lexus or silver Lexus parked on the right side like near the wall so it's just like he's way away from the line of the car wash so I'm like huh what's this guy doing like why is he like just sitting there like that maybe he's making a phone call maybe he's waiting for somebody I don't know so I don't think anything of it and I, I'm in my mom's car and I drive past him and get on the line for the car wash. So my sister does the same thing. We get on the line, it's finally my turn to go through. I'm paying the guy that runs the car wash and <laughs> lo and behold, you know, I go through and I come out and then I see my sister coming through and she's flashing the brights on her car. Like, you know, I'm waiting out in the street for her, for her to follow me home and she's flashing the brights and, and just like, like a bat out of hell just takes off out of the car wash and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? When we got home later on, she ends up telling me that the dude who we passed that was in the silver Lexus ended up getting out of his car, pulled up behind my sister, got out of his car and started walking up to my car or my mom's car while I was paying the guy and he was getting 
going to yell at me for cutting him in the line. So while I was talking to the guy, he turned around and started yelling at my sister who rolled up her window on her car and just blew past him as soon as I went into the car wash. This dude was ready to pick a fight. He was probably middle-aged, a little older, maybe in his 50s or whatever, ready to pick a fight with both me and my sister. Fucking crazy. So I'm thinking, what the fuck? Well, this guy wasn't even on the goddamn line. So what is the goddamn problem? So anyways, I get back to the house. I put my mom's car in the garage and then my sister's there and she's, you know, right after she told me about all this, I'm like, you know what? Let me go get my Jeep washed. You know, my white Grand Cherokee, you know, since I did this real quick and it's close by. So I bring my Jeep to the car wash and lo and behold, I figure out the reason why the guy was waiting there. I guess because I was in a rush and I was just kind of flustered from having to drive all the way from the other car wash to this one. I noticed there's this big red stop sign hanging off a dump dumpster at the car wash in the back right corner and on the stop sign i wish i took a picture of it it says please wait here for car wash and it's written in duct tape like a two-year-old did it and, and i'm like you expect me to see that shit and take that seriously i mean come on so the guy was technically doing what the rules stated and i just being in a rush blew past him like that and just got on the line now was i wrong kinda was he wrong kinda because the thing was there was plenty of room for him to pull up on the line where it wouldn't have been blocking the street but nobody was thinking at the time and it could have potentially led to an actual fight over some bullshit so that is gonna bring me to today's comment question of the day was I wrong or was the guy wrong in a way because I feel like we were both kind of wrong you know like the way we handled things the dude didn't have to get out of his car and it could have been a huge potential fight so tell me in the comment section what you thought about that also let me know what you think of me doing this story time kind of thing because I've always wanted to do this and I should probably do it more often but anyways don't forget to leave a like on this video subscribe if you haven't already and tap that little notification bell you'll get all my videos sent straight to your phone make sure to follow me on Twitter Facebook and Instagram links are in the description down below and of course always vote in our poll which is on every single video that I post and at this time I would like to give a very special shout out to Ninetales for commenting the secret comic code on Saturday's video and uh, if you would like to uh, you know comment that secret comic code and get shouted out for this upcoming Saturday's video, uh, today's secret comic code is the old dude fight. Comment that down below. So before I go, I know this video is very long and I thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. Uh, I have made the decision, uh, the decision, the decision to cut down to doing two videos a week because doing that third video on Monday just kind of creatively fucks me up because I'm like forcing a video out. So it's gonna be every Wednesday and every Saturday will be scheduled videos. And then if there's anything bonus that I want to throw in throughout the week, you'll get bonus videos. But I feel like it's a more manageable schedule and it's not too much overkill on your subscriptions. I think it's fair. And this is what I used to do years and years ago. I used to do Wednesdays and Saturdays and I think that worked out best. So just uh, jot that down in your memory or whatever if you even care. But that is going to do it for me, folks. I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Pete. You've been watching Record, Upload, Repeat. Thank you so much again for being here with me. Subscribe and all that good old stuff. And I will see all of you here on Saturday. Peace. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Click on one of these two videos on the left and uh, watch something that maybe you missed. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.